Hey everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts and today I'm just going to bring you a quick video on um, some things that I've been working on to put together um, for my shop and just kind of give you guys a little update. Um, so, and I'm looking at the wrong spot, I'm supposed to be looking up there. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys, I'm putting together a kit with one of my little frames. I'm going to have this one available in my shop. I'm also putting together one of these kits. It won't be exactly the same, so don't um, pressure me on that. The only thing that would be different really would be maybe the images that I put in for the kit and uh, maybe the bling bits because I all of my bling is different when it comes to the bigger pieces of bling to put on my, and then the dangle. Um, this one I don't have the dangle for yet. I haven't decided what I'm going to use, but I can show you guys sort of what I do have um, so far. And I've got the picture frame. I've got, uh, I'm going to throw in some of my Kiki's Sale flowers for you to use. And I think... So there will be these these flowers. Oh, this is hard because my camera is facing the wrong way. So um, I've got some of my Kiki's flowers, these kind. And I've got one of the big roses. And these are paper roses. And so these I'm putting three of. One of the big one and then two of these little pink flowers here. So those are going in there. And I'm putting some, a little piece of this pink trim to go in there that you can use to trim it out. And a little piece of this pearl trim that I got from my friend Kim. Um, she was gracious enough to send me a roll. I'm sharing a small piece of this for this project. For this kit. I'm adding one of my pretty little uh, organza or mesh butterflies I should say. So this is going in there. Some uh, pink ribbon for the bow. Oh I do have a dangle in here. And then I added a couple of pieces of bling to put in there here. And those will be part of whatever, you know, you want to put on this. And you don't have to put everything on there. In fact, there's too much to put on there. I put two of these little teeny um, pearly butterflies in there. They're just teeny tiny, but I thought you could pop those in a couple of places. And this is the item that I was going to put in there as the dangle. So I forgot, I did, I did pick something out. So this is really pretty. This is something that I made a long time ago. Um, it was just a plain little thing and I added the butterfly to it and the chain and I thought this would be a nice dangle charm to go on there. Um, some of my... Um, See, I got that turned the wrong way. Some of my lace paper trim, and this you can see I is a it's got little pink flowers all over it, and I made several pieces of this, way more than enough to go um, in this project and use in another project or two. So I'm putting all these strips of that in there, and. The, and I'm giving you a choice of images. So these are the images I chose to put in there as possibilities for you to use on this project. So you have a lot of choices there, you guys. Um, I'm not going to limit you to one image because I thought, you know what, different people like different things. And I thought if you had choices, um, you would be more likely to, you know, purchase the kit and you can use the other images for other projects. So anyway, that is that kit, and it will be in my store um, shortly. Uh, probably by the time I put this video out, I'll have that in my store. Um, the other thing that I'm going to be putting in my shop is this pretty uh, applique. 
Um, this is one that I made a little while back and it's got the most gorgeous laces and things on it and I just decided I was this is one of my handmade uh, shabby flowers that I put on there and then this beautiful beautiful laces um, on the edges uh, or underneath it I should say but it is the most gorgeous applique and this could be used on a journal it could be used on a on a altered box it would be really pretty on an altered box uh, because it could go it's big and it could go on a larger box and really fill a good portion of the top of the box um, the other thing that I did was I made another one of my picture frames and this one is super pretty and so I wanted to show you guys this one is in black and pink is that not gorgeous you guys I just decided I wanted to do something in black and pink and these were originally black frames so I decided to leave one the same and trim it out in pinks and I am thrilled and I also added one of my handmade dragonflies on there is that not gorgeous i love 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 my handmade dragonflies that's what that looks like and then i also have this beautiful dangle that's going on this one and this is something that i got from my friend deanna grooms um it's a pink it's got pink stones on it and it's a little dream catcher isn't that gorgeous you guys Oh my gosh, I love this one. I almost love it more than the first one that I did. Um, I think I love them the same, but this one, I really am thrilled about the black um, and the pink together. And then I wanted to remind you guys that I've got my two April um, giveaways for my Etsy store, the one for the $50 and more shoppers and one for the $25 and more shoppers these are journal embellishments and this one is a whole bunch of different embellishments and bling and and a little bit of lace and images and all kinds of stuff um, so these are the two prizes for April so go over to my Etsy shop do some shopping and get in on those raffles you guys um, and then I wanted to show you this fan this is something that I got at the thrift store when I went last week and I didn't show you guys I got this for like 50 cents or something there's one little oops boo-boo in it and I bought it anyway because I thought you know what I can fix that by using lace at the top or what have you because it's it's wood this is actually wood and it's actually um, etched on both sides with the design isn't that beautiful it's so lacy and just really gorgeous so i can't wait to i'm gonna do a video on this as well and then um the button that i showed you guys in my last video uh let's see i'm gonna go that way um jeff is making these buttons this one was made out of mdf and i did it um I wanted to alter it just kind of as a test to see what I could do. So I decoupaged it and I put some trims and some stickles on it. Jeff does carves the lettering into these and then he paints, uh, he painted this one with the black paint on the lettering and it says mothers are like buttons, they hold everything together. And I think these are awesome, awesome Mother's Day gifts. So we wanted to get some of those done so that we would have um, stuff for Mother's Day in the shop. This is what the ones, the, he made them on pine. Um, ultimately, this is what they will look like in my shop. I've got four of these in my shop right now. Um, so it's made out of pine, stained in walnut, and this is just stain inside the lettering on these and you can see they've they've also been finished so they are nice and finished on the front and ready to um, add embellishments you know your string or whatever you want to use for the center uh, buttonholes and um, they're gorgeous you guys so these are really really pretty and I'm really proud of these buttons they I got so excited when he showed me the design before he ever made these buttons and um 
I told him, yes, you have to make some so we can get them in the shop before Mother's Day. So these are awesome, you guys. I have four available right now. And I wanted to show you these two. Um, some are lighter, some are darker. Um, so it just depends on how the wood takes the stain. So this one is a little bit darker. Um, but they are all in, you know, you, you get the one that gets sent out. But if you have a preference, I mean, I can, I can, you can make a note to me when you um, place your order. And I can, you know, if you say, oh, I want the lighter one or, oh, I want the darker one, you can just let me know. But they both look equally gorgeous. So it really doesn't matter. These are two of them. Um, I have two I have one already sold so I did have five in my shop whoops I almost just fell so I did have five in my shop and I have one already sold I had a friend that contacted me and said save one for me so I have that one sold and so you can see you know, based on uh, wood grain and all of that, they all have a little bit different um, aspects about them. I have one, this one has a little knot in the wood, which is kind of a cool character thing. Now, I honestly love these just as wooden buttons. Here's another one, and here's another one. I love these just as wooden buttons. I honestly, when I do the altering of the one that I have, I don't think I'm going to do much to them because I like the idea of wooden buttons. So it kind of gives them a, a vintagey feel and I just, I love these. And so they're all finished on the front and ready to go. And you could hang them or you could, um, Put them in a stand like the stands that Jeff makes um, so there's a lot of a lot of ways that you could could um, do those up you could put a rope around the top you know so that you could hang it you know from a piece of rope here these pine ones are a lot lighter than the MDF one is also so that makes them nice um, so anyway that's kind of what I've got going on right now. Um, those are some new things that are in my shop and available for you guys to purchase. And this is not a commercial for my shop, so don't get me wrong there. But I am trying to find ways that I can get my shop uh, busy. Uh, I would love to be able to make this my life's work, but right now that's not in the cards. I am working a part-time job. Um, unfortunately, they're not giving me a lot of hours, so it's starting to look more and more like I'm going to end up having to um, possibly get a second job or just change jobs um, and find somebody that can give me more hours. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. But anyway, um, I just wanted to let you guys know what I have going on, what's in my shop, and I'm getting some really great things in there that you guys can uh, purchase, whether it be kits or finished products. Most of my stuff in my shop is finished stuff. Right now, I'm down to like 125 items in my store. On a normal day, I would have about 250 items in my store. So I've really got to work hard to get, to build up my stock and get things in my shop that should be in there. And whether it be um, finished things or supplies and kits and things like that. So anyway, um, so this is me, you guys. This is me on a regular day. Um, I I tried to make myself look halfway presentable for the video. Um, I, I, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, I just want to let you guys all know that how much I really, really appreciate you all. I appreciate that you watch my videos. And for those of you that are subscribed to my channel, Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate every one of you. And thank you to those who've been shopping in my Etsy store. Um, I've got some real faithfuls that shop in there all the time. And I, you guys, 
don't know how much that helps our family. Um, we are blessed to have that, um, the, the Etsy shop, and I'm blessed to have this channel to help me with my Etsy store. So um, you guys are all a true blessing to me and my husband and my family, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. My cup runneth over with um, the kindness that I've received from my subscribers, all of you that have donated supplies to my channel so that I can continue to do these videos. You have no idea how much that has helped me to be able to do really some really quality um, pieces and projects and because otherwise I would be working with just bits and pieces around the house and <laughs> um, you know, I can't get as nice, uh, the designs aren't as nice when I have to do it that way. So I've had, I've been really, really lucky to have some really kind, generous subscribers that have given um, blessings to me so that I can keep going and doing this and uh, bringing these videos out. And I love it. This is my dream. If I could do this, again, if I could do this every day um, and make this my full-time job, I would uh, because I really love it. And maybe I would learn how to work the videos a little bit better so that my, you know, angles and all those things are a little better. And um, what I'd like to do at some point is to get some good video editing software that can really put some, you know, pizzazz into my videos. I haven't done that yet. I use a simple program on my computer already. And um, I'm sorry, my eyes are watering. Allergies. Um, I just have a basically a basic uh, video editing program that I use. So it, it gets me by and um, I get my point across and my project across. So it's okay for now, but maybe someday I will improve that. At some point, I'm thinking I'd like to, I'm tossing around the thought of doing maybe a live chat video, and I really, really would like to do that. I'm not quite sure how to do it, and if I would be able to follow the chat real well, um, I'm not sure. So I'm thinking I would like to try and do that. How fun would that be? And... Um, I think it would be so fun if I could get everybody together and do a pajama party. <laughs> anyway, that would be so fun. <laughs> um, I'm a weirdo, I know. <laughs> but anyway, that's it, you guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and thanks for being uh, part of my um, channel, part of my great crafting community that's here. So many wonderful people, so many kind and generous people and you know throw around your ideas you guys talk to each other and um, get ideas give me some ideas on new projects that you'd like to see me do can't say that I can do everything I have a project that I've been supposed to do for almost a year now um, that a dear dear friend of mine asked me to do a little um, uh, what do you call it spool doll I still haven't done that spool doll. I have the spools. I have everything I need to do it. I'm just not sure how to do it, and I haven't found a real good video to show me how to do it properly. So every once in a while, I run across those spools, and I think, oh, I feel terribly guilty about ha not having done that video yet, but I will do it. There will be a video on a spool doll, a little spool Raggedy Ann doll, one of these days, I will get that done. So <laughs> anyway, you guys have a beautiful, beautiful week. Uh, be blessed. Be safe. Take care of yourselves first and foremost. And um, come back for the next video. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. And stay tuned for the next video that I'm going to do. I, I think it's going to be on the button. Um, I want to do the fan. I want to... Oh, I got boxes, the heart boxes that I want to do, so many things, um, and I've got a couple of days off right now to get some stuff done, so I'm hoping to get several projects done over the next couple of days. So thanks a lot, you guys. Take care. God bless you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.